center of the world. Three men will work together to bring you a podcast like no other. This is Fanatically Correct, where the fans, the geeks, and the nerds are always correct. With your host, MSK, Yo Peace, and Omega. That, and before we give the, uh, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler, well, actually, <laughs> there Black, he is. I, I will tell you, Black Mirror will be more like spoiler alert, spoiler, no, or, or, or like a British house uh, AI, like, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. I spoiler alert here. Spoiler hey, alert. Be spoilers. <laughs> Listen to me. Listen to me. Spoiler alert. Yeah, it's actually not yeah, bad. That's, that's, that's the best he's, that's not, the best It's actually not done. bad. It's terrible. Hey. Hey, hey, <laughs> it's the best I can do. That's the best, right? that's the best he's ever done. It's the I best heard I can your, do. your accents in a while, man. We got to bring that back. There you go. Spoiler <laughs> alert. Oh, he'll be doing a lot here. Yeah. Uh, I am your host, Omega. MSK. Yo, peace. And so, yeah, we're going to talk uh, Black Mirror. I guess uh, I know we each have a favorite or two. The reason we're even talking about this is because the most recent season, which is season five, just came out. Yep. And yep. Uh, I guess half we'll, of season five. Uh, I tried to reach out to my cousins in England, but only one of them watches Black Mirror uh, to see if because uh, this is something we discussed. If, That's you know um, you know uh, let me stop it right there. That that uh, that kind of throws me off, you know, because like we we watch a lot of their stuff and they yeah. try to watch some of our stuff, like a lot of no, our. They stuff. watch a lot of our stuff. Yeah. So, but <laughs> why? <laughs> but, but why? My question is, why are they watching and, our stuff? I don't. Well, that's what I was going to ask them if, like, us, because, like, I know we tend to prefer way more the British episodes over the American episodes, especially this season. <laughs> and and I was going to ask yeah. them if they feel the same way. If, like, every time they see an American, it's like, oh, these bloody yanks. You know what I mean? Like, like, like they, they hate our episodes. <laughs> or if the opposite, they're like, no, those are the episodes we like the most because, you know, they're different. I mean, I, I don't know. But uh, before we get into the season five review, and obviously we haven't seen the most current season, we'll go ahead and put a time slot in the synopsis so you can join us for all the other seasons. Uh, if you haven't seen season five yet, before you sign out and fast forward, um, there's a strong suggestion, the, the Yopi's family. Yes, sir. Uh, o- over there suggested, and I actually for the first time wish I had listened to it. Watch episode three first. Get yes. it out of the way. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> watch episode yeah. one and then watch episode two and yep. leave on a very high note. Yep. I think that's the uh, yep. that is the correct way to watch this season. They should have formatted that way. I don't know what the producers at Netflix were thinking yep. when they well, did the order. I think fans already of the show don't really need to. If you're the fir- like you're a first time watcher, I would format it that way. Just like I yeah. kind of tell people when they watch season one, not yeah. to watch the first episode. Oh, I definitely. Kinda, I never I kinda recommend do three, two, yeah. one. Yeah. In that instance, in the first season. Yeah. See, but if you've already seen Black Mirror before, I don't think they really need a, a warning for it because you know you're going to get well, some it, episodes it, better than, than yeah, the other Yeah, but, but, but in this one, see, in, in that one, it's, it's not, that, that's actually a great episode, episode one. It's that it's just so disturbing yeah. and dark. Still the right most the, disturbing. It is. Right out the gate that it, it's a big turnoff for people and then you, it doesn't kind of, like, there is no softening the blow after that. They just feel like everything's yeah. dark and everything's miserable and everything, like, they kind of can't get out of that mindset when yeah. they start there. So that's for a different reason. Here, this order is because episode three is a really bad episode like it's not yeah. dark it's not scary so we're gonna start three yeah. let's do that let's do the order let's do it the order that you you suggest let's do yeah, it that way. exactly but but exactly. before before we do the order like I, i'm gonna be honest with you guys like i'm telling you whenever somebody whenever i suggest black mirror i let them i tell them straight up like yeah. watch it however it comes yeah. And, and, yeah. and and i and i mean from from the first season you need to get that you need to get that impression of the show from the get-go and if you don't like it, if it, if it's too much for you, then you're not gonna you're not gonna get it. You're just not you're not gonna understand it because it's so like you guys t- like for real like you know how this show is. So you need yeah. that you need that first like shocking moment. And I think I think uh, I tell people always watch <laughs> yeah, it, but watch episode, it how it comes. Episode one of season one is the like yeah really shot like yeah right out. Well, the you game. know, speak, speaking of episode of season one, to segue back to this episode. Uh, Easter eggs, like I just caught uh, some stuff on YouTube. Um, this 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 season really lined up what episodes are in the same universe in the same time frame, and this being one of them. When uh, they're in, um, uh, not sorry, not episode three, but episode two in this season. 
Um, and actually, episode mm. three as well. There's things uh, that they some hashtags and things like that on background screens and stuff like that. But in uh, what is it, uh, Smithereens uh, episode two? They actually right. that's the current prime minister is the prime minister from episode one. Ah, nice, cool. Season one. Oh, okay. That's yeah. Cool. So there, so and and uh, so pretty much this whole season is is all they're all in the same time uh, a zone. Yeah. Well, it seems why more modern. Well, than that's usual, why it is more I modern. I know in that episode they they put. Um, yeah. In the beginning, they put uh, 2018 as a as yeah. a year. Yeah, and I've never seen that before. Yeah, yeah. well, except well, they, except the first the first episode. Yeah. I think the first episode is behind on technology. I, that's just my my opinion. But let's let's yeah. try, let's do episode three. First. Let's do episode three. We then we'll get to that. Jump into the third one. The episode we're gonna talk about is uh, Rachel, Jack, and Ashley two. Mm. Yes, starring Miley Cyrus. Oh. <clears throat> And, uh, <laughs> and I don't really uh, yeah. think she I, was the problem, but well, it wasn't even her work. because her acting's not bad. It, it's this episode did not. All right, the first five minutes, what I didn't like was the was the the sample. They they sampled uh, Nine Inch Nail songs and then they did different cover versions of their songs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, some of those songs are really like really good. The the one that she's playing on the piano is one of my favorite Nine Inch Nail songs. And yeah. um. And yeah, I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> I just don't it's like. Bad. It. I don't it's like bad. what they did to it at all. But uh, aside from that, I mean, just the actual story. This episode would have been great if it was aired on like on Nickelodeon or, or Disney yeah. or something, because then it would be edgy. It'd be like, oh wait, what did yeah. they just do? But yeah. for yeah. a Black Mirror episode, it was. I, I don't know, man. I wasn't feeling it. That aside from the music, like the story itself, I didn't really dig. You know, you know, you know what the problem was for me. It was how long it took for that development of what it was what what i mean we're going spoiler alert obviously yeah so the development of getting that ai to uh you know like come to life all all that all that it took it took a long time and my wife was like no it it didn't take and i was like no it it actually did it took way too long for this to develop way too long and then when it developed it ran so fast that it was like okay but what i I don't care anymore i'm done i hope yeah that's that's how I felt. So yeah, it was it was rushed. Like it really looked like it was something thrown together and and storyline wise. And the right. writers didn't have much room to hash that out. They wanted to keep it, you know, within an hour, uh, as opposed to stretch it out for like an hour and a half or two hours for that matter. And almost yeah, that a, I didn't need two hours of that. No, 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 God. no, no, no. Oh, God, it's like you said, no. they could have gotten to the point. You know, it's funny, just to call back to when we're going to get to to episode one, I, I guess we'll do it in the order, um, but episode one, it was, and that's the opposite, that to me, that one felt like it, it, it happened too fast. It would have been more dramatic if that happened slowly. It, they, they, boy, they didn't even finish a fight. You know what I mean? Like, like you would, that, that would have made more sense of like the, uh, you know, the, the, the friend who's exploring, uh, you know, being a female character in the game, you know, started exploring more as opposed to like, they're just like immediately like kissing. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. it's like wait a minute, can I get a couple of fights here? Like, yeah. like how did it just like, like, you know, like the snap of a finger, like out of nowhere. You know what I mean? And yeah. it didn't, and, well, and I didn't mean, even hate that. But, you already got the sense that that wasn't going to be what it's... I didn't think it was going to be about the fighting no, and the no, gaming. No, no, I didn't expect that either. And actually, where I thought it was going to go, because before the fight happened, we'll, we'll, we'll finish up on episode three in a second, but since we're on this topic, um, <laughs> I actually thought three. they were about to do a crappy episode out the gate and do like a Freaky Friday. And and this is what I... Well, I mean, it was a Freaky Friday, but oh, not the Freaky oh, Friday. Oh, a Freaky I'm Friday it was. <laughs> and a Sunday yeah, and I'm, a I'm Freaky about, Wednesday. Yeah, I, yeah, freaky Wednesday or Tuesday, whatever it was. No, but I actually thought well, it was like probably a Saturday because they had a barbecue. Why are we? Why are you arguing the semantics of what day it was? Yeah. The point is like Freaky Friday as far as the story of the body swap. And I thought they were kind of hinting at that because you see like the one guy and they're showing like oh he's like hooking up with all these young girls and he's alone in the city and he has this record label and his life is one way. And then they're showing this guy and he's like oh you know basically like the Ryan Reynolds jason bateman story uh, i'm married now with kids and like you know my mundane life like so i almost thought that something was going to happen in the virtual really? game that they're going to switch consciousnesses in their bodies mm. yeah i didn't i did not i think of that i, 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 well, I, I thought I that's what they were building either. towards i didn't until either. until it happened so i mean yeah. caught off guard because i really thought i'm, that glad, they were I'm glad i got you off guard like that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah that, they caught that, you off, it, I, that's that yeah. well it worked on you that then yeah. the, um well, just to get back on episode three, real yeah, quick. Um, that garbage. <laughs> the, um, she, the thing is, a lot of people are kind of like, oh, I don't want to watch it because of Miley Cyrus and, and what. It, it's not no, even it's that. Not, it's, it's not her. It's not. No, it's no, not it's not. Cyrus. It's just more of the story. I mean, well, my problem is how she covered those songs, but that's not her fault. That's, you know, I don't know <laughs> why they did that. Maybe but, it is, but yeah. Maybe. We'll I don't know. We'll let that um, slide. <laughs> but the story itself, I, I don't know, man. It was missing some. And, and like Yopi said, it, it took too long for it to 
like catch me like yeah. and then it got me interested not even the robotic part it got me interested of the whole aunt yeah. trying yes. to kill her or yes. whatever that was interesting but then yeah. it, it got switched campy. to the robot it got campy it got really campy towards the end like really it campy. really did it yeah. really did yeah that and that's the thing it did not end like a black mirror episode at all it, that's nope. why i say it felt by the time it ended it felt like a disney nickelodeon yeah. production yeah. now I if mean, it I, was I, on disney I, or nickelodeon I, yeah. it would have been a great a great movie oh uh, yeah no exactly yeah you're 100 percent right because like you said it would have been edgy for that genre but yeah. for this genre i'm going out and saying it like I, I was skimming through when we were setting up our outline for this episode that's the worst episode of black mirror that is too, too. No. for me no for no. me yeah i'm, no. I'm no. sorry we'll get to that season but even those mechanical dogs i'd rather watch that again than watch actually i i like the mechanical dogs so yeah so episode one <laughs> we were brushing on that it personally uh it gave me a same the same feel as um the episode i think it was season one or, or the entire history of you it felt like that was the drama behind it um and that was obviously the danger of technology and in fairness this is actually like a like a, like a true danger. I mean, this is actually happening in our divorce rate and uh, and in relationships like that. Is that you have technology as a form of um, infidelity without it actually being infidelity, and that's right. really what's capturing. You know, the fact that you know behind the the female body is a male. Whatever. I don't really think. It, and as a matter of fact, it wasn't about that because that's what was pretty funny was when they actually tried to kiss, like to see if maybe it is an actual thing between them and it's not the game and they're like yeah nothing man you know what i mean like, like it really it yeah. was like all about in the game and, and that's what it is so it's focusing more on the dangers of that technology of in this world you feel different but it's almost like a drug uh which is like kind of the the the, the i guess the theme of this season right. was you know it being addictive uh because that's what happens to smithereens also um by it being almost like a drug or whatever it's affecting their relationship that way and i just for me the reason why i say it's a good episode not a great episode it felt you know for an episode that felt like it was going to go to a very dark place and then it didn't that's why it didn't feel like a great episode to me because i felt i felt a little let down i mean don't get wrong yeah. the performances are great it is a good story uh it is thought provoking as far as the the dangers of technology and the you know you know, you know exploring and infidelity and all that because of you know the online worlds and virtual worlds and all that so it is a good episode i, I don't dislike it at all i just felt a little let down with the way it all ended this mm. is what it did yeah. for me um, I think I think it was a pretty good episode. My my whole thing about it is I, it didn't need to end dark. I think it ended the way it should have ended. My problem is maybe I didn't get enough like emotion from the Anthony Mackie character, mm. like Danny. Like I feel like his acting wasn't as good as Carl. Uh, and I'm not even gonna try to say his name because it's it's crazy. Um, yeah, the friend. The friend. Yeah, yeah. His his acting was a lot better. Yeah, the friend had the harder. That's part, what's yeah. cool about this episode is that you get these three characters that are they're kind of complex because uh, Danny, the, the Anthony Mackie character, Danny and his wife Theo, um, they both feel really trapped with the whole relationship and the whole family life because they set it up with them clubbing in the beginning, so you yeah. kind of set it up how their exactly. life used to be. Yeah. And then you get this other guy that's kind of like tired of. You know, he's sleeping with all these women and it's kind of like yeah. nothing to him. Uh, he just wanted a different experience. And you know, the Anthony Mackie character wants to cheat on his wife already. Yeah. Because he was yeah. checking out that girl in the, in yeah. the, in yeah, the cookout so or whatever. So, you know, for me, when I saw him doing the kissing at, in the video game, I didn't automatically think um, that he was into his, his friend or anything. Yeah. Uh, he just wanted yeah. a different I'm gonna experience. Tell you something. If Chung Lee comes in front of me and is one of you mofos, <laughs> yeah, better log off really quick. Oh, one of us is fighting yeah. for real. <laughs> We're fighting for real now. <laughs> but yeah, I just found that uh, interesting because he, he basically wanted a different experience yeah. with another woman. Yeah, exactly. And the yeah. friend wanted a another different experience, experience period. all yeah, period. together, yeah. like, exactly. connection wise. Because he's not yeah. getting connected with any of these women that he's sleeping with. I actually, actually enjoyed the, the episode. Um, it was different. Um, they did try to go for that shock value ish kind of. Um, yeah. I didn't. I did like just like you, MSK. I did not feel that he was into the actual guy. Uh, but it, but it but it's one of those things that that it they touched on uh, was the confused like yeah they were confused the whole time they didn't yeah, they couldn't sure. tell what it was whether it was a game or not. I like that. I like. I really like that about it. But just like you. Uh, Omega, I thought it was going to get dark. I thought that it was going to end up him killing his friend or his friend killing him. One of those yeah. situations where he's like, it would have been, it would have gone wrong. 
But yeah, I didn't yeah. get it. But I did not dislike the episode because I didn't get yeah. it. I just, I just thought like, okay, this is what how they wrote it, and it's, it's like it wasn't actually a bad ending for it. No, yeah, I, I feel like if maybe if it wasn't Anthony Mackie, it would have been an even better episode. Yeah, he's um, definitely I, he's definitely was the uh, big the big issue too when it came to the yeah. acting. Yeah, acting wise, I think he's the one that that was kind of a like you know he's he's probably the worst one out of the three. But yeah. looking at it from your point of view, Omega. It could have easily went dark at the end where they're confronting and they're both really confused. Yep. And when they do kiss, you, I get a sense from Anthony Mackie that he does feel something because he kind of flinched for a second. Mm. I don't know if you guys got that. You, maybe rewatch that that episode, of, that to, yeah. scene. But he kind of stops a second and then they start fighting. And I thought, OK, maybe this is going to go dark because now he actually does like his friend. And now he's com- like and not instead of being yeah. confused, he has to confront yeah, the fact I, that he has I something for his friend. I already saw that. Like as soon as like the way they did it, like it, to me, I didn't see. I, I just felt it was like that. It was like two guys trying something like that. They weren't interested in it at all. And it was like, yeah, it's nothing. But that's why I turned to the fight because that guy shut it down real quick because you know he was like, yeah, but even though it's nothing out here, it's still something in there. You know what I mean? And, and it was like, they almost, and that's what I'm saying that it was more of an under breath yeah. um, theme of the addiction. Yeah. And again, it's, it's sure. a good episode. It's not so anyone agreeing with us that it's a good episode. Anyone saying that it was a great episode. Hey, good for you. If you think it's the best one of the season, I, I won't argue too much on that one. As long as you don't say, like I said earlier, as long as you don't say it was episode three, because uh, if you think hey. episode three is the best episode, then you're like, you know, you, you weren't old yeah. enough to watch Black Mirror and you're a huge Hannah Montana fan or something because there's no way. Yeah. You're which is fine which episode. is fine if that's what you like that's, that's yeah, cool I, just, I, I didn't I, I preferred episode 1 over 3 and I mean we could segue to episode 2 if you guys yes. want but um, out of the 3 episode 2 for sure really I, I think hit more of the Black Mirror feel and I don't know why maybe it's because we have the main character being British or Moriarty and, of, uh, of Sherlock Holmes of Sherlock Holmes yeah and, and that British feel I think it's also yeah. missing from the entire season yeah. I think that feel yeah. is it's something specific to the season, to the series that I think we missed that a little bit this season. But they kind of changed it up a little bit. So um, I don't know. How do you guys feel about the second episode? Best episode. I mean, it's 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 one of the it's one of those most solid Black Mirror episodes. I probably easily in my top eight, uh, maybe my top five. Uh, it was good. It, it was dark. It um, hit on a very good theme. All good performances. Uh, yeah, we had a little bit of Yankee uh, in it with uh, Topher Grace there. Uh, towards the end and but uh yeah it, it's everything i expected from a black mirror episode and it was good because there was like a twist that you didn't kind of see coming which is like why the whole thing was happening and uh i guess i mean i, I I'll, I'll make the point but I'll, I'll let one of you say it, but basically what i was saying earlier so it's not the same person saying it about how it's addictive you know about facebook twitter and all that and that's what they were getting into i mean either one you want to kind of like deep dig into what the episode yeah. was about that well moment. you said you said you you didn't predict the ending like you couldn't see that you didn't see that coming um uh, not really I, I i didn't i i thought that he was as far as that like, he was responsible for a death i really thought somehow it was going to be the owner or maybe somehow that owner because i like i thought maybe they're going to go the rich and powerful uh and where maybe this guy like was a was ran his um, them off the road and there's mm. a cover up like I wasn't sure that this guy was self-hating you know what I mean and really what he wanted to do was you know which that's what I mean by that's the twist to me was that he was the culprit and all he was reaching out to do is like can we change this you yeah. know like I'm, I'm hearing that they're purposely making this addictive mm. and you know so I and I really wish that something here and hopefully telling my story and dying because of my story uh, in such a a harsh way and everything will open somebody's eyes, you know, is what I thought they were going with. And then it's sad because they kind of made you feel for the... For the guy too, because he starts coming with you know their their version of Zuckerberg or whatever, and he's like, I didn't make this to be this, you know. Yeah. It's like it just kind of right. got away from me, and you see him being fought at every angle oh, by his man. people. That's the thing you know? that I was so mad about. Yeah. It was just how we are. We we are we are a terrible species, man. Like, so this man is trying to get a hold of an owner of an app, and he's got a gun held to somebody who he's about to shoot. And yep. they're going through all this dilemma, all these things. Yeah, all the just, red tape. Like, no, you shouldn't talk to him. No, no, we should not reach him. Like, what? Yeah. What? That's 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 dark, man. That's terrible. Yeah. That is terrible. Yeah, yeah actually, and, and I thought that was going to be a setup to later on. Because when Omega, what you said, when he was like, 
oh, uh, these websites are supposed to give you like dopamine and, and yeah. it makes you want to keep, you know, get you addicted. When yeah. that scene happened, I thought they were going to go another way where he's trying to get this guy to admit. And he actually does the the Topher, Topher Grace character. He actually yeah. does admit that they do that. Yeah. And I thought he was doing that. Like this whole setup was for, for him to admit that so he yeah. could shut that social media platform down because yeah. of the accident of his wife. Like he was kind of blaming him. Yep. And he wanted to bring down like the whole company. I thought that's where they were gonna go with it mm. toward the end. That's that's cool yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, no, and the, and the, and the darkness obviously of, of this ending and this one is the actually the darkest thing about because it, it is dark. You know, he gets obviously he does get sniped at first. You're a little worried because I thought they were gonna shoot the intern instead of him. Um, I mean, they didn't really show exactly who got shot, but they pretty much uh, you know made it seem like it went according to plan that he was uh, the one who got sniped, uh, which was his plan. So you hope. Well, yeah, so I hope, but but I think that regardless of who got shot, or maybe they both got shot, but regardless of it, what's the real dark ending is that how they're showing people checking their status and then, like, moving on with their yep. day. Back yeah. to driving yep. while checking their status. While it was just, like, another blip in their status. Like, oh, wow, look what happened. So, wait, y- Yopis, what did you think of the ending? Who, who do you think got shot? I think, I think the, um, I think the main guy survived. Um, and, okay. and then the, I, I, I feel that the kid... Jaden, whatever his name was, was the one that got shot. That's how, that's how I saw it because there was a lot of movement. Or it could have been both. I mean, that's what I like about it is the fact that I didn't know. Yeah, no one knows. No, I mean, me personally, I think it, I agree with you. I think it was the the kidnap the ki- kidnappy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Jaden. He he. I think they built they built up the character of Billy and Chris talking to each other. Yeah. That if Chris, the, the main guy, that uh, that kidnapped the kid right. um if he would have got shot i think we would have gotten more of a reaction from from the billy character from Topher yeah. grace yep. yep um but instead we we just get him trying to calm himself down going back into his silent retreat yeah. thing yeah. and I, I i don't know for some reason i feel like it, it was the other character that died they, 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 that's a good thing they don't imply what the outcome was in right. any way because and that's the point of it because it doesn't matter and that's the darkness of it like it doesn't right. matter that's how society felt after something like that like it yeah. doesn't matter it, it's uh, similar to inception everyone was talking yeah. about oh did it spin or not yeah. or, or did it topple over or not yeah. um but at the, end, at the end of the day it doesn't matter the point was that yeah. you know um this guy got back to his family he finally realized that he needed to get back to his family he got there this is similar where we it, the ending itself doesn't really matter it's just look at what happened mm. out of all of that he wanted to make a statement about the social media thing how it was addicting and no one cares no one cares because nope. they're like all right whatever yeah. news whatever and then they just do what they they need to do and they still went back and that's to, the point yep. because if they're both shot you're like hey how horrible this guy got himself killed by the cops and a hostage over all this and you know what uh next tweet nobody cares it didn't matter hey, nobody cares exactly yeah. and that's what to make you feel yeah. like and i thought the performances were great out of all the oh, characters excellent. uh excellent. grace everyone was the good. guy from sherlock i don't know how i don't know his name but he, he's an incredible well, actor a- andrew scott the guy that played chris yeah andrew scott yeah thank andrew you. scott there you go yep. yeah, yeah. He's, a good he, he's an amazing actor he's, yeah, he's an amazing actor, actor. They, they one of the they one of the hashtags in the background said uh uh bring back the brits into uh, <laughs> into, my, right. into my it black mirror, should. like did it say it that bl- bring back the Brits? Bring back the Brits. You know, I I was really I was really nervous about this season when I first saw the trailer because it looks so Americanized yeah. Yeah. that yeah. I was like, man, are they really gonna change what made Black Mirror so great? I know. You know, like I was really worried, and you know, to a certain extent, they did, but it's not. You know, it didn't get as bad as I thought it was gonna get. You That's know, I true. still enjoyed two that out of the true. three episodes, but. But yeah, they they it, I got worried for a second. Well, re- real quick before we we go into like our favorite episodes, um, Yopis, I want you before I'm I'm gonna say what I'm about to say. What did you think of the the dishwasher in episode one? Oh, <laughs> so so get this right, episode one, season five, so much technology, um, that um the most that I saw that was so advanced was that our this washer tells us to put our knives in the right way, which is <laughs> facing down because it was facing up. Like, like that's not technology, people. If you need a dishwasher to that's remind you sense. to put the knives the right way, 
then what what are you doing with your life? How do you not know how to Te- do this already? Technology like, would be the toilet roll dispenser telling you which way to put the toilet. Oh that yeah, be, pretty much. Yeah. That's what that it's gonna be. be. Some yeah, that's right the there. that's the, the most advanced. This is why I said that that sees, that episode did not have any technology. Ne- te- never mind yeah. the chip they put on their head and they go into a whole virtual reality world. But that's yeah. <laughs> well, that's the problem. I think that's that's the most that's the worst. Like the biggest yeah. lie because yeah. it takes my PlayStation yeah. and it gets an update. It takes an hour. To get that thing going, there's no way a whole virtual virtual world <laughs> sets up as soon as you turn it on. Yeah, there's no way. Never, there's no never. way. I don't care how many years we're in the future. That's not gonna happen. That's well, not gonna yeah. happen. Well, it's that would not, take a it month. Wasn't, it, that it, would take it a wasn't, month. It wasn't run by Red Dead Redemption Two Online. Cause then that's be, for sure. <laughs> send yeah. me another invite. Send me another invite. That's yeah. what they, that's what they should have had. Like as soon as it comes in, invited, it like jumps in. They're ready in the world. They like, send me another invite. Send me another. Like yeah. ah, I give up, man. That would have so many glitches if Rockstar. I'm in the clouds. It. I don't know what happened. I'm still here loading. I don't know what happened. I'm still yeah. here. The server's full. <laughs> the server's full. <laughs> it's like not happening. Yeah. Uh. Oh man, yeah. But I, I appreciate you bringing that back because, like, oh my goodness, that 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 pissed me off. I was like, "Where's the where's the advancement here? Like, really? Like yeah. a dishwasher? Please put the knife the right way. Please put the knife correctly. Yeah. yeah. And the dishwasher looked very clean. Too. Like, I don't, I don't know. We're nitpicking, but it's just funny that it that would be the high technology. Uh, that, that throws but uh, I don't know who, who, which one of you want to start with your your favorite of the series. I'll I'll, I'll kill it right now. I'll kill it right now. Go I'll ahead. tell you my two go, go. top go ones right now. Go. You Shoot. ready? Yeah. Obviously, White Christmas. Okay. Nice. Bla- Black Museum. Black nice. Museum. Okay. Neither one of those are two, my two favorites, but I do like both those episodes a yeah, lot. Yeah, they're both very good. Well, Black Museum is probably the maybe the best or second best from last season. Yeah. No, it's definitely the best from that season. The, yeah. it, it was. But I already see he has a theme, and his theme is an anthology mm-hmm. series within an anthology series. Yep. Because yeah. both those episodes yep. do that. They're mini stories building up to one overall blanket story yep um so he's consistent and uh yeah i like that and that's what's cool about both those episodes to touch on that note is that they both tell smaller stories that build up towards the theme of the main story uh between the characters you know basically narrating the other stories uh both of them have great performances both very different because one's american yeah well american mixed with british both of them actually both of them are the same thing they're american mixed with British, the difference is one is an American in England, and this one is a Brit or South African in, in America. In America, yeah. In America, yeah. yeah. But it didn't feel Amer. It didn't feel American no, made. Is didn't. what I mean. It didn't. No. Yeah. It was a mix, and they were very dark. It was, they were very dark. That is a dark episode. That is a very dark yeah. episode. It has a great ending, though. And you see, that one's a dark ending, but a happy ending. Happy ending. Because yeah, it's a, 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 a you know a villain got their justice. Right. Yeah, there was justice. No, I'd say it's a good episode. I, I like those. And the and the Mark and go into that one because I know actually I think that was one of the first ones recommended to me by MSK because I I mean MSK was already like I think Black Mirror was yeah. getting to like season two or season two season, season two or three. three. Yeah, yeah, that one had, that one had already come out when I finally started watching Black Mirror, and yeah. that was the one because I guess you had just seen that episode because it was like a mini in between. Yeah, because between season, I think, two or three, there was a break. There was like yeah, a, a year break. or two break or a year and a half yeah. break. And that that's what they gave us in between, the the White Christmas special. And yeah. that, that episode was great. That was a great... It was perfect for that break because that yeah. was already like... I, I need a Black Mirror yeah. episode because I'm there's no other show like it right now. So it actually is a great first episode to watch because it does give you pretty much a good synopsis and rundown of what you're going to get the entire yeah. series of these mini stories um, that are kind of warning you uh, with a the theme of, you know, technology, is it going too far? Is, you know, is it beneficial with a dramatic story, yeah. you know, based around it? And well, look, just, just, just to give you the idea of the weight, um, the Waldo movement came um, out and that's the ending that, that, by the way, that's the worst episode. Yeah. Uh, we were talking about worst <laughs> episode. That's yeah. the worst episode. You know what? You're right. Series. You're right. That so is the worst. I'm going to get through this I, as fast as possible. I, I blocked it out of my memory. You're right. That is the yeah. worst episode. Yeah. That is I, I will watch the, the Mighty Cyrus episode. one, the, the Ashley, right. oh, whatever. I will watch that w- I stand way corrected. more than I blocked the, the it out of my memory. I was told you. I told you it was out there. I told you it was out there. But just to give you an idea, that one aired February 25th, 2013, right? Yeah. White Christmas came out December 16th, 2014, 
Wow. And man. then the next season, season three, came out October 21st, 2016. Jeez. Wow, yeah. They took some So between 2014 and 2016, that's how long I had to wait for season three. Yeah. Yeah, the British series, the, the in general series, I don't. I'm trying to pluralize series, series, whatever. I, yeah. uh, but they tend to do like we just got Luther back now. It just started again. Yeah, and what was like three years ago was the last season, and like two, four years before, yeah, like Luther they, and forever. Sherlock has done that. Yeah, I mean Doctor Who has been doing it for what fifty years now. Like it's it's yeah. kind of they've been doing it for a while. They just say yeah, we'll come back to yeah. it. Maybe well, we I don't. prefer it because Maybe. usually they come back just as good yeah it makes sense this is why they watch our shows we release shows so many times yeah. so yeah. fast and they yeah. have to wait forever to watch it i get it yeah i get That's it funny. we're impatient i mean look at it think about it game of thrones was two years right well, 18 months or whatever two years between seasons and everyone was losing their mind you know what i mean and like you were talking about a show that's like three year hiatus you know what i mean like yeah sure no problem yeah I'm going to tell you right now because I had to. The wifey gave me the look yesterday and she was like, oh, you better mention it. Uh, I'm going to tell you her favorite one. And I don't know if you guys know your favorite ones for your spouse, but I'm going to tell you right now. uh, You can guess which one it is, right? Uh, The social media one. Nope. Oh, Nosedive? No, it's probably San Juniper. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. San yeah, Juniper. Yeah, no. It's and very you know retro. What? I, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna be honest. I did not hate that episode. A lot of people hated it. I did not yeah. hate it. But I don't. I, I, I don't hate the episode. The episode itself was pretty damn good, except the ending. But it's thought provoking. Like it's it's contrasting yeah. to what the character's direction would have been. Um, and but that's where it's thought provoking because then it raises the question. That's where I actually this is why I like the episode is actually because because of the ending and because of the of the the deep thought that goes into it and the theology of it. Right. So now the the concept goes is okay. So what and and that's where it really is thought provoking and the whole concept of artificial intelligence and copying of consciousness, um, which is just your memories. Is does the soul if if there's a soul does the soul rely in your consciousness and your memories? Yeah. Or is it a separate uh, entity within itself so therefore at the end when she goes and uploads herself into the world yes it's contradictory to what you would think her character would do right because if you are within the thought of um spirituality speaking that is the soul therefore she's denying herself and her you know first love and all that of being together to uh, you know to forever in eternity or uh, in heaven and whatnot mm. But if it's just a copy of her consciousness, then it's just a copy of her consciousness being uploaded into this server. But the real consciousness so we'll still has make moved it. on. Yeah. 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 So you don't know. And that's yeah. what I'm saying. It's thought provoking because we actually kind of do got to worry about that a little bit with all the artificial intelligences yeah. that we're well, creating. Oh, it's going to happen. It's yeah. going to happen. Not in this generation, maybe, but yeah. it's eventually going to happen. Because once you become self-aware or we're copying our consciousness, like it's it, what yeah. is real, what's not, you know? Yeah. Is, well, is I just think that ending didn't make sense to the character. I agree. They set up. Yeah, I agree. I agree. That's you know, where, like yeah. it, it didn't make sense to me. I don't, and they had this really emotional scene of how she loved her husband. Exactly. And that's how, you know, he, she needs to be with him at the end of the day. Yeah. And then... She just didn't. She's just like, yeah, whatever. We'll forget about that. I'm gonna go with this girl. And to yeah. me, that doesn't make sense with that with her with specific her character. character. Yeah. So that's what kind of caught me. Hey, I, and, I, and I understand what you're saying. I get what you're saying. But you have to think about this, right? That's all in how strong is her faith, right? That yeah. comes down to that. Right. Like, does she mm. really believe that she's going into this other world to meet her husband? Which she still is going to do it. That conscious yeah. is still and going to do it. That right. soul right. is yeah. still going to do yeah. it. But at, she she took a she took a moment to actually say, "This is guarantee, <laughs> right yeah. here. Yeah. Like this yeah. is definitely guarantee. I can this. I see. I touch. I feel. I I breathe it. That I don't know. And and yeah. it well, it that just means that she just changed thing. her. She she gave exactly. up her faith and faith. ended up going. It's with all the girl, about the faith, which the, which doesn't make sense to the characters yeah. that they set yeah. up. But and, and that's again, why I go the rest the of the what, episode is great. Exactly, and that's why I go into the what if that if you believe that um that isn't your real consciousness, like in other words, the soul uh the soul dies with the body, uh then she's like, well, you when I flatline out there, then the that's really me. Yeah. I'm just 
allowing my a replica of myself to exist here to make her happy. You know, like, like I mean, they don't really like hash that out. But I'm saying like that's where like it gets thought provoking. Like, well, maybe it's that, and and you really you know you think like, what well, yeah, where where is consciousness lie? Yep. Where does reality lie? Where does and it's it's it, and actually and that's what I like about it too is that. You know, right out the gates, a twist that you find out these are, it's like a, it's a century village online. It's basically what it is. <laughs> it is. But it's yeah. like, be yeah, youthful much. again or whatever. You know, it's pretty wild. And that's, you know, you have an early twist in it, you know, Matrix style. So, it's, again, it's a good episode. I'm not, definitely not my favorite. I mean, it's, but it's a good episode. I yeah. Would, it's not a bad episode at all. I just had to mention it because I know I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get the eye. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, just to get to you, Omega, what are, you, what are, what are your two favorites? Um, uh, my two, um, okay, I, I, am going to have to go, this is easy, it's, um, what is it, Hang the DJ is what, oh, okay, uh, yeah, okay. I really like that episode, yeah, that's, that that's cool. my second, that's my second favorite, which is what, season four, season four, last season, oh, so both my favorite episodes are from season four, uh, yeah. season four, uh, Hang the DJ, I really like that one, because it's a very happy ending, I, mm-hmm. you don't see coming, like, this is like, not, you know, it's, it's, it's a, it's a romantic comedy, um, a romantic dramedy, actually, is yeah. what it is, and I just really didn't see. And I know MSK likes this movie because there's a lot of Morrissey um, yeah. music in it, and I'm too yeah, Morrissey. A lot of Smiths, and, yeah. Fam. And this one actually has such heart to it, and then even to an extent, like the, the ending is so happy, and we're doing spoilers, so we don't care. Because even through the process of the two of them ending up together, it's still so such a jaded. Um, sabotage experience because of you know she was with other men and she didn't want to and he was with other women and he didn't want and like and like just like kind of being unhappy for all these yeah. years to like then fighting the system to finally get some happiness and then the truth is like none of that happened yeah. Yeah. and it's all just an yeah. experimental what if scenario over and over again to then match two people in an right. app, you know what I mean? It's, it's like the that actual whole, data exactly, of the it, thing. It, it's yeah. the whole matrix thing where they, it's like this is like none of this is happening. It's like completely yeah. virtual. It's like and it's like that total what if? What if all the ones and zeros in an app calculating and deriving if two people are a match mm-hmm. were actually real people having to experience relationships to see if they actually end up together and work yeah. out? And, and it's, it's for it's, the it's sake of the episode. real people, I'm putting I'm doing quotations yeah. to see if they match up. Yeah, which exactly. Is, which is awesome. And then I go to another one that actually has a happy ending in the way that um, uh, Black Museum had, which is the USS Callister, also yeah. season four. Mm-hmm. Episode one. I'm a big Star Trek fan, regardless, and original series Star Trek, and that's what I love about it. It's very Galaxy Quest and very Star Wars, like kind of poking fun at the original series of Star Trek and yeah. and like you know and, and fandom and, and and overbearing. But it's I mean it's got such great humor to it. But just the concept of this guy, you know, it's like and, and it goes now it goes to what I was talking about in that episode um, of the, the Hang the DJ, which is he's creating artificial consciousnesses. They're not the real people. They're a copy of the real people, but now they kind of have souls and they care about their real people, their real versions and the re- the people that the real versions care for. And that's why I like the, the, the character from West or whatever, because that's the darkest one. The right. darkest person he's holding hostage is that he has a clone of that guy's kid. You know what I mean? He has the yeah, DNA of that guy's kid, and crazy. he's wanting to create a version of him just to like kill, like, like you know what I mean? Like this guy yeah. is dark. That's when it got really, really bad for yes. that character. Yes, and I mean this guy's a, and that guy's a great actor too because usually you don't see him in roles like that. The Jesse Jesse Plummins, yeah, the guy him. from Breaking Bad. He was in the yes. last season of Breaking. Yes, Bad. Yes, that's right. Yeah, he was also in Breaking Bad. Yeah, yeah, uh, he's he's a great actor. He's a very that good guy, actor, especially in that episode. He yeah. goes so dark, yeah. so quick. I mean, he goes from William Shatner, Captain Kirk, you know what I mean, to like you know almost Kevin Spacey in Seven, like within the snap of a finger because um, the whole situation is dark. Yeah, it's, it's a very fun episode, very entertaining episode. It still has the darkness. That um, it that gets black, really dark. Yeah, no, it does. And but then it has a happy ending. You know, they overcome that guy. He gets justice. Uh, he's stuck in his own brain. Yeah. And then you think that they're gonna, you know, die because they're, you know, and that's what they wanted. They wanted to basically die. They're like, this existence is horrendous. And then they're rewarded because they actually get uploaded in to the new big world. And so it's it's pretty cool. Like so, it's like a it is it's a feel good but dark. Like, it's good. Yeah. Those two episodes were really good about last season. Actually, those were the best ones. Yeah. Um, you know, Black Museum, I, I know you guys like like that episode the most from last season, but I really like Hang the DJ. Um mainly because unlike the Miley Cyrus episode, it has a good soundtrack. <laughs> but, <laughs> um But yeah, those are two good picks. 
Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go with uh, episode three from season one, which is uh, the entire history of you. That's a really good um, one. As that's, uh, that's probably my second favorite one. of the whole series. That's a great episode. That yeah, one, and that one started that whole that whole feel of Black Mirror. Yeah, for what I, for what I remember. Um, yeah, when that one ended like, with the whole wow, that that is crazy yeah. with the technology, technology wise. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So basically, you know, you got the the main character um, Liam basically finds out that his wife cheated on him at one point mm -hmm. and his child is not his right yeah so at the end they're both you know they both they're gone like the the child and and the wife they're gone only because he can't get it out of his head about yeah. her and her ex hooking up and and she's telling him listen i'm in love with you you know you're just imagining things but he goes back and sees what he's right she's recorded that, because yeah. you could record memory in this yeah episode that's is that's of, the darkest thing in that episode is that he's right yeah, he's at right. The, at the end, that's the darkest thing. Right. He's right. He he. Yeah. You they they have the technology where you record everything you've ever done. So it's basically yeah. he goes back to her memory and sees her getting back with her ex uh, for a weekend and and you know she gets pregnant off of that and has their child and he's raising this guy's kid. Yep. yep. And you know it sucks because he loves this kid and he loves his wife, but then he had to find that information out and that's the twist. That's kind of like do you. Even if you yeah. know you were right, yeah. do you go ahead and look for that information and suffer the consequences of that or just let it go and, you know, continue loving your wife and kid that you're raising and you love? And yeah. he went, you know, he went with with finding out what it was. So that's kind of like the craziness of of technology. Like, what would you do if you had this power to go back into someone's mind and see what they're lying about and how that's going to affect you? I mean, I think that's where the series kind of like wow this is this is gonna get deep you know right 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 um aside from the first episode and the second episode where it was already kind of deep but this is like more of like a personal and uh, yeah that's, a, that's yeah that's a great episode yeah and it has jody whitaker from from the uh, doctor huna mm -hmm. and broadchurch and what's your is that your second favorite or your first favorite um that was my first favorite until season three i believe Okay. Uh, which came out with uh, season three, episode three, which is "Shut Up and Dance." That's the one with the kid and the guy, pretty yes. much doing all these things because yes. they're blackmailing him. Yeah, yeah, that's a great episode. That episode was nerve wracking, man, because you're watching it and they're doing all these things and they have to do this and that and and only because someone is blackmailing them and you don't know why they're blackmailing them until that sucks. Yeah. later in the season and later in the episode, and that. I don't know, man. That episode was like yeah. intense you, well, for me. You really emotionally go from one direction to another so fast because the whole 90% of the episode, you're like, man, this poor kid, this poor yep. kid, this poor kid. Right. He survived, survived. And then when you find out, it's like, screw him. F, him. <laughs> F <laughs> this kid. Screw him. You deserve, you, deserve, you got off easy. You know what I mean? Like, you got off easy. Yeah. You deserve, you know? It's like. Yeah. It's well, awful. yeah, that was the first reaction. But then you have yeah. to think about, all right, what if it's, you know, because this is an illness. It, it's yeah. an illness this kid has. Yeah. What if that was your kid? What would you do in that situation? Would you just like screw him or would you try to get him help or what's going on? You get what I'm saying? Well, the thing is with him particular, you have a little bit of um, conscious with because they make it sound like he's only doing an online thing that right. other words he hasn't actually um he's like, only watching apparently watching that's as, the as idea they're of, showing but the yeah. other ones have actually you know actually molested a child i mean we're, we're spoilers so we're saying what it is uh you know he's he, it, 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 this person is attacking um who you think is the villain of the show is actually more of a vigilante yeah yeah he's helping society yeah exactly but then like they hint that you're not sure because i think i, I gotta rewatch the episode but i think when he's talking to his mom on the phone or whatever like they, they like they don't really answer if he has gone beyond just that or not that's just the evidence that the guy has on him right where right. but there's the possibility he actually has done yeah. something because the well, other guys the, they do hint that they have you know well yeah something. the guy he's traveling with i don't think he was a pedophile i think he the blackmail was him <clears throat> cheating on his wife yeah and that's yeah. The, the guy from game of thrones him yeah cheating on his wife with like a hooker or something jerome flynn yeah jerome flynn which is he's an amazing actor yeah, yeah. um but what got me in this episode was the hints during the episode you really don't see it until yeah. Like you know don't notice it until the very end mm -hmm. when you find out the main character like what he's done. Because right. in the beginning you see him helping out a little girl and the first you're like all right he's just yeah. helping out a child yeah, you're or feeling, and you're feeling and, bad for him. You're feeling And then in the middle of of the second episode cuz that's what it, that's what it was. Um mm. the um, the blackmail supposedly and that's the Jerome Flynn's character. 
he was yeah. like, "What's what's your problem? You got caught up. You got caught masturbating to online porn. Exactly. Like, what's the, like, big, what's deal? the big deal? It's gonna and ruin you... your school life or whatever. But it's gonna. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, exactly. You know. And then they just keep going. You know, that was kind of like a throwaway line. And then you find out what he's watching at the end, yeah. and he has to duke it out with this other guy to survive. And yeah, it's it, like that's, he kills the guy. He kills yeah, the guy. At I know. The and, end, that's, and, and that's and that's where it kinda, yeah, and that's where it kind of goes a little far, but. That's where you get, like, okay, like, it almost, like, the level of justice. Like, the other guy, you know, okay, so his wife was told, you know, what he did, and there's just the justice there, but the guy's not, like, going to prison or whatever. Um, right. Then the other guy, it seems that he was also a pedophile, actually touched, you know, actually molested a kid or whatever, and he's the one who gets killed. And in this kid, it's almost like it's therapy. You know what I mean? Like, like now, you definitely ain't going to do it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, after everything that's happened to you now, and now it's right. uncovered, now it's like, like, now, it, like, you, you have stopped a chance. in your tracks. You have a chance. Yeah, now you'll go to prison. Right. Well, the, and and as a viewer, you see that yeah. depending on your angle from because when I first saw it, I'm like, screw this kid. This guy does not deserve like it, it's crazy. It yeah. got me like I, I felt bad from the whole episode. And then at the I end, know. I was like, nah, screw this kid. They did. But a after great watching job, it, uh, yeah. I saw it from yeah. the perspective now as a parent where it's like, OK, what if this is your child that has this? Um, illness and needs help what do you do then the you know? theme of the and momentum the show took you was definitely that was like it, it was so easily just like totally hook line and sinker yeah to have you root for a character and in the snap of a finger, and again the the kid you, like, you know you don't know if he's committed and he yeah. from yeah exactly from the looks of it the hint from the whole episode it looks like he's yeah. watching it yeah. um which is terrible um of but course. at that point the 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 shock the shock of it is he goes through all of this he has to kill someone to survive so you're yeah. still rooting for the kid and then you find out what it is, and it's like, oh, damn, that's yeah. crazy. Yep. Yeah. You know, and throughout the whole episode, it's super intense. There's not, like, a moment of, like, a breather. So it, it's good. What a way, same thing, to get me to kind of root for someone and, you know, be intense the whole time and be thrilled. and you Yeah, know, and, and then and, just and do the twist heartbeat. at the end. You and, know? And, yeah, exactly. So, and, I think, yeah. And, and I think that's what this season is missing, in a way. This last season that just came out, I felt like yeah. all three episodes were kind of predictable at least everyone kind of knew where they were going it didn't have that crazy twist um that other episodes in the past had i, I don't know if you guys feel the yeah. same way but that that's the same like that's the feeling i'm getting yeah i agree yeah it was yeah just kind of like each season does kind of have um your yeah your dramatic one and then your suspenseful one and then your and then your, i agree this one i guess they, that's what they were trying to do with the miley cyrus one at the end by doing the whole car chase thing and like kind of make that the suspenseful episode but it really didn't it did, did not work at all yeah and yeah. i just i just hope that maybe if they do actually do more episodes that they actually attach it to this season and they'll probably make it a little bit better maybe yeah yeah, they will. the 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 next, um, the latter half of uh, yeah, the next batch. season so, five is it's still going to be season five. That, so, be so then maybe episodes, maybe that will be uh, the redeem of the actual whole uh, season, season itself. Yeah, uh, because it's it's not bad, but it's not great. <laughs> it's not great. So, yeah. well, I mean, uh, just, it, it, it got to continue with the theme of uh, you know technology is dangerous. But it's not. It's not always be. that technology is dangerous. Yes, technology no, is dangerous. It's not provoking. But the it's main. I think the main theme of this of this of this uh, anthology is pretty much like yeah, technology. You can make it. You can make it the right thing, or you can make it the the worst possible thing. And exactly. we as we as humans, as society, as uh, species on this earth, I think we we always are gonna end up doing the wrong thing when it comes to using these type of technologies. And I, and yeah. that's why that's what I feel this whole thing is about <laughs> towards the end. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, more it's about us than it is about the technology. Yeah, it's about yeah. how we use it. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, yeah. I even look at it, those robots from that bad episode. Um, but it's not a bad it, uh, episode. Think about it. Those yeah. robots are being used right now. They're being they look just right like now. them. They look just like them. Yes. Like Metalhead or yes. whatever. They look exactly I like know, them. But that's yeah. the whole point. I actually didn't like that episode too that, much. But that's yeah, the whole point of it. It's it's yeah. it's that. like They're being used right now. But why? Obviously, those people have never watched Black Mirror because like, it's like whatever scientists are making like the first like robotic like human form, if they make it look like the Terminator from Terminator, like what are you doing? You yeah. know what I mean? Like, why would you do that? Like, 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 raise all our fears. And it's the same thing. Yeah. Like, I don't think these people have seen Black Mirror. Because, like, why would you make those robot dogs look exactly like yeah. those robot dogs? Well, I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. What are those robots doing right now? When you see those YouTube videos, what are they doing? They're pets. They're, they're dancing, pets. bro. They're they pets. are yeah. dancing. That's what they're doing now. It's all cute. It's all fun and games. They're all, oh, look at look at that. Oh, man, that's pretty cool. Look what they're doing. 
right until somebody takes over it and makes it do the wrong things. Now they're yeah. taking over. I mean, I get uh, it. I see it. That I understand that aspect of it. Like that's what I see from it. Yes, it looks like it's the same robot, but you have to put it together. As in, they're trying to show you what you're seeing is not going to be what those people are experiencing, right? So yeah. it's that whole that whole fear of it, like. What are we doing as a society to make those robots not take over us? You know, yeah. that's how, that's how I see it. Like I don't hate it, and you have to rewatch it, rewatch it, go watch the YouTube video and be like, oh man, that's pretty cool, yeah. and then go watch that episode and be like, holy yeah, like, cow, that's, not cool. that's <laughs> happening yeah, cool. to those people. No, and it's happening for sure, and and I, and I fully agree with, with what you're saying, Yopis. But as an episode itself, I'm not a big fan of that episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I was just I was just like, um, all right, whatever. Um, Whatever, you're getting yeah. chased. We're going to wrap it up. Uh, I'm going to dive into the recessi just to wrap it up quick. Uh, as you know, fanaticallycorrect.com. From there, you get all our stuff. You can get into our Instagram or Twitter. Oh, that's it. Uh, that's it, yeah. bro. You're doing this. There you go. go we for got, it. We got, we got some good reviews on there. Uh, Yo Pieces did uh, an Aladdin review. I got up there uh, a couple reviews also. John Wick 3. So if you go to our Instagrams at least, uh, you'll see some reviews of some movies we recently seen. And of course, we're on everything Spotify, iTunes for now. Uh, you know, all that good stuff. So just fanaticallycorrect.com. That'll take you everywhere mm. else. Or our phone number. We have a phone number if you really care about calling us, which is 786 four eight four zero four but we care for now we're not going to pay if it's out of area code nerd necessity omega's gonna grab this one this week it fits right into uh the black mirror theme it's also available on netflix just like black mirror is it is an anthology series good thing about it it's an easy binge because every episode is like between 10 to 17 minutes long uh well, the name of the series i don't know about yeah, well, easy yeah. but yeah well, the name of the series is Love, Death, and Robots. It's uh, an animated series. Uh, have either of you seen any episodes yet? No, I haven't got a, a chance yet. I saw them all piece. yesterday. You started watching yesterday? How many no, episodes no, no, no. are into it? I are saw you? them all yesterday. You binged it. Nice. Nice. Okay, so a yo piece could feed off of me. <laughs> I, all I'm going to bring up to begin with is not family friendly. No. <laughs> no. No. Not no, family no, friendly. No, no. It's a cartoon. No, 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 so no, be no. careful. Kids might want to watch it. Do not watch this around children. No. At all. Uh, not every episode's a winner. Uh, I personally enjoyed all of them, but some of them were definitely way better than others. Yes. The good thing about, uh, and I'm going to see if yo piece felt the same way. What makes you binge this quick is the first episode is incredible. You, I think the twist in that was so cool and so unexpected yeah. that it really intrigued me and made me want to watch the rest of the series. Yeah, it was, uh, and, it was pretty, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can oh, wait, see wait, wait, that. It's a necessity, so we can't spoil it. No. But yeah, it has, there's a, a few episodes that have twists like that. It, very, very Twilight Zone-ish, uh, um, Outer Limit-ish, where there's a lot of like, oh, zoom out to, un un you know, unveil something at the end of an episode. Like, there's there's a lot of those little, like, big uh, twists of, of things. But besides that, I like the second episode. It's like a robot one that's very funny. I, I, I laughed a lot in that episode. So, I mean, it kind of takes you everywhere. You have um, some dramatic episodes. It's mostly sci-fi. Obviously, yep. it's called Death, Love, and Robots. So, you're going to get a lot of um, robot shooting and uh, cybernetics and technology and stuff in the future, stuff in outer space, uh, all that good stuff. But again, the warning is it is there's some very vulgar scenes in it. Yeah, there's, there's, uh, so this, uh, this type of show, it's like, um, I don't want to say it's a fast, it's a fast watch. It is a fast watch if you watch each episode, uh, individually, maybe yeah. two, two a day or whatever. But, it, it the whole thing is like 18 episodes and you're thinking about 10 minutes 7 minutes to 14 mm -hmm. minutes yeah it's pretty short yeah yeah so but i i do want to i do want to explain something without giving anything away um mm -hmm. since it's not kids friendly you're gonna get a, a lot of good things but man the art there's it's so incredible. much great yeah. art like artistic things happening on these episodes yeah mm -hmm. that you will miss mm -hmm. Uh, you're probably gonna miss some of the stuff because I have yeah. to go back and rewatch. It's so, yeah. it's such a beautiful, uh, put together anthology. Um, and yes, I, ha I have to agree that the first one was crazy. Like, I so, so the audience, yeah, so the audience understands to touch on what Yopi just said. Um, every episode also has a different art style, so yes. it's not all the same. Like, some of them have like a really 
good like Robotech, uh, Ninja Scroll, yep. anime style. Some have like that video game Halo story mode uh, part of the game, like a uh, um, video game style. There's like a Johnny Mnemonic uh, type yep. uh, episode mm-hmm. with that style. There's actually an episode that's mixed with CGI and live action. Yeah, right. So, but most of them are animated episodes. And like Yo Piece was saying, it they're all different. They all got great artistry, great scenes. Um, sound effects are incredible. There's yep. some really cool music in a bunch of them. So it's an experience. It really it is. is. Yeah. And it's hard. You do get hooked quick. So maybe try to watch it on a Saturday or when it's not too late in the evening because you might catch yourself just binging all the way through. I did. But yeah, I did too. I could. Yeah, I could probably watch it now after this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, 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 it's good. Just get, get careful with the, with the kiddo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, the, and the wifo. And the wifo too. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it, it's dark. Cause it's, just to show you how bad it is. It's good and it's yeah. laughed and it's, it's, it's everything. It's a lot yeah. of good things, and I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. But no, just yeah. just to brush up on, on on how severe the warning is, I was watching. I think it's the, the second episode or third episode, and my wife's in the kitchen, which the TV is nearby there, and she's like, "What are you watching?" And I'm like, "I don't know porn." <laughs> like I got videos. Like, it's so it's 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 such an elaborate scene that I'm like, I don't oh, know. I guess it just turned into what? porn all of a sudden. I think like, that was the third episode. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it is. Really it is the third, think it's the third episode. It's be- you're like oh, you're like looking around while you're watching. You're like all the windows are closed, right? Because people think I'm. <laughs> watching something else here. yeah yeah because no, it gets, but it gets it's bad good. but the twist in that episode yeah is awesome you it have is. to watch oh that my god yes it is so amazing so it's it's such an amazing twist yeah that you just gotta you know you just gotta close the blinds um uh, make sure no one you don't want to be embarrassed around is in, in the room with you and yeah. uh, watch it. i mean if you got yeah, if you got headphones <laughs> put them on yeah 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 <laughs> do all that do all that yeah. just don't <laughs> don't let anybody see you watching it yeah cool, cool. but yeah well, so that's the that love death and robots. So yeah, well, that's uh, wrapping up a Black Mirror episode. Good thing is there's we could easily do another episode of this because there's still a lot we didn't uh, touch on of every season, every episode. So. Yeah, we'll probably do another episode. I mean, there's a lot. All right, so this Omega saying peace. MSK, peace out. Yo, peace, Peters. And there you have it, folks. This has been fanatically correct. Until next time, you crazy kids. Signing off.